this is Stephanie from the Cat Academy and uh, sometimes the easiest things uh, confound us and one of the easiest things might be to put a skin a new skin type on a wall or a wall style and um, so I want to draw I have a uh, environmental the uh, sound new product that's a 10 inch CMU with a 2 inch, inch gypsum board and I go up to my favorites and of course it's not there but I would like to have one now one of the uh, tricks might be to put in a composite wall in memory to start with and so this is a composite wall in memory now I'm going to go over and um, go to options element attributes and composites and so you see the components that this has and right now we're on the brick face that would be the very top line and the brick is uh, not the right size and it doesn't isn't correct so I edit down here I'm going to change that to my 10 inch and remember to add the inch because there's a default to feet and um, I think that that's oh I want to change this to a CMU so I find a block masonry here and that looks good so then we'll head down to this one and we don't need that at all so let's just clear that one and we'll clear that one and now this one uh, is our two inch uh, gypsum board so we're going to put in two inches here to simulate that and a lot of people like to use a fill for that and then our very last one little piece there um, is a skin separator and it looks like we have some more air that's their old uh, gypsum so we're going to go in and clear that so basically now I've got my 2 inch gypsum I've got my 10 inch uh, CMU and now I'm going to duplicate what it, that so that I don't lose it or I could rename it and I'm calling this 10 inch CMU 2 inch gypsum so now we have a new skin whoopsie say okay and so now we have a new skin that we've created this one and if I arrow over I can see all the other skins that are in here and I say okay so now we want to create a wall using that new skin so I go over to wall and the um, wall thickness is going to be 12 inches but I'm coming down here to my cut fill and my cut fill for this would be my new uh, 10 inch with uh, 2 inch gypsum and this is just for visual but uh, you know like if you're rendering but I could go ahead and uh, select something for this as well even though that I'm that's not quite correct this is a running board with mortar I'm just gonna do just a plane and um, didn't need to do anything with the model basically so I have a 10 inch or 10 foot high wall and uh, a 12 inch wide wall and it is my new 10 inch uh, CMU 2 inch gypsum so I'm going to name that as a favorite and I'm going to say uh, save current settings as a favorite and I'm just going to go ahead and name it the way I had done before 10 inch CMU 2 inch GYP and say OK and now that's up as my favorite and a, a typical way to be working might be to go up uh, to window and palettes and have your favorite on and that way you can just kind of go and choose whatever favorites you have so let's go ahead and select this one and we'll say that we're heading along this way it looks really large but we might be zoomed in so let's say we want to go over 20 in that direction and it is zoomed in so we'll zoom back out and we'll move this around down here well actually let's start again I didn't realize I was zoomed in so I've got that my wall going I'm going to select this wall and we'll go ahead and do a 
20 by 40 by 20 and we'll just close that and that then displays my new wall type and that's exactly what I wanted to do so if that's what you are needing to do and can't find how to do it, it, it when you finally uh, do it once you think how could I not figure that out but a lot of people have trouble with that so Hopefully you find uh, that this helps you a bit. This is again uh, the CAD Academy. This is brought to you by the CAD Academy. Stephanie Kwame, www.thecadacademy.com.